Welcome back to the Red Carpet Ria, your go-to source for all things music and culture. Today we're diving into the big news surrounding Brooklyn rapper Troy Ave, who's just been released from prison after serving less than a year behind bars. You won't believe how he celebrated his newfound freedom, so stick around for all the details. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more exclusive content. That's right, Troy Ave, also known as Roland Collins, was released from Rikers Island on Monday, August 26th, and he didn't waste any time letting everyone know that your boy is home. Now, Troy didn't just walk out of prison quietly. No, he was greeted with stacks of cash and a shiny red Lamborghini. And the first thing he wanted to do, head straight to the airport. Talk about making an entrance. The rapper posted a picture on social media holding a bag of cash in front of his new Lambo, letting his fans know he's back in business. His caption, simple but loud, your boy home, and that's not all. He also shared a clip of the moment with the excitement written all over his face. Oh, man. <laughs> But before we get too carried away with the celebrations, let's take a step back and remember how Troy ended up in this situation in the first place. Back in 2016, Troy Ave was involved in a shooting during a TI concert in New York where his bodyguard, Roland Banger McFadder, tragically lost his life. Troy himself was injured in the altercation, as were two innocent bystanders. The person alleged to have pulled the trigger was podcaster Tack Stone, who has since been sentenced to 35 years in prison. Meanwhile, Troy received a reduced sentence of just one year for his involvement. Before turning himself in earlier this year, Troy addressed his followers on Instagram saying, Somebody shot at me. Instead of laying down and dying, I took the gun and I bust back. Here go the consequences. He also shared his mind state going to prison. No tears over spilt milk, just taking the lemons and making lemonade. During his time behind bars, Troy Ave kept his focus on the future. He wasn't trying to prove he was the toughest guy in jail. Instead, he wanted to be the richest. He spent his time reading, doing push-ups, and planning his comeback. In an episode of his podcast, Troy spoke openly about how New York self-defense laws forced him to leave behind his family and businesses. But as he said, I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. It's clear that Troy Ave is ready to move forward. And with his release, we're all waiting to see what's next for the Brooklyn rapper. So what do you think? Is this a new chapter for Troy Ave? Or will his past continue to haunt him? One thing's for sure, he's making his return in style. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Red Carpet Ria for more exclusive updates on the latest in the music industry.